Hey viewers, uh, I guess I left that shopping bit in the last video just to uh, kind of show you what was up and everything. Uh, so you know what everybody bought. I sold that red gem I got back in eyed and everything. But uh, yeah, here we have Seraphim. Uh, so let's get to it. An ominous wave of dark creatures washes over the continent. Erica's journey to find her brother Ephraim goes ever more perilous. Still, she presses on despite the danger. Her will is strong. The town of Seraphim, located on the border of Renee's and Grotto, the people of both countries have long used the town as a meeting place. It stands as testimony to the friendship the two nations have shared these many years. Now, however, Seraphim is teeming with Grotto troops. Chapter 5, The Empire's Reach this is actually one of my favorite chapters in the game. Oh, whoa, who's this fellow? He's got a nice looking hat. Maybe he's Captain Jack Sparrow. Or something, I don't know. But apparently there's an arena in this town. This should be interesting. Ooh, a cleric. You know that's like a nun, right dude? Um, you know, there's kind of... Val of Celibacy and stuff. Wow, you're smooth. <laughs> Scare the hell out of her. Way to go, buddy. Wow, smooth talker. Yeah, good day to you. And there she goes, yep. Uh, if it's not your lucky day, maybe you should reconsider the arena fool. Hey. Captain Sar of the Seraphim Border Guard. And Glenn! Yay, Glenn! I missed Glenn. Um, yeah. Uh, where the hell did you find this rumor? Why is it so true? They are in custody? You can't do that. <laughs> One more thing. A trade of the Empire, huh? I wonder who that could be. Well, it's obviously a woman. Um... Uh oh, permission to execute. That's no good. Also not good. Um yeah, this is definitely uh not very good. Oh, who's this? Looks like he'd be Glenn's brother. Wow, I'm smooth. Glenn and Cormag. Well, we see who got the better name. Hint, hint, Glenn. Actually, I believe Cormag's name in the Japanese version of the game is Cougar. Eh, it's cooler than Cormag. Yeah, of course he used to pass through here on route to Grotto. It's the frickin' border! But hey, you people are slow. Yeah, you know what it is now? Exactly, firmly under the thumb of Emperor Vigard. There's no peace in this city. And it is lost now, forever and ever. Well, that's what you think, isn't it? Yeah, way to bring up old wounds, buddy. Hmm, the West Gate's undermanned? We can get through there. Qu'est-ce Oh, this is an interesting fellow. Well, he's looking for someone. I wonder if we can help. 
Indigo. Hmm. No, only Princess Erica. That's rather blue, not Indigo. Sorry. Eh, not a problem. Who the hell are you? Yeah, that, that's definitely factual. <laughs> definitely not a grotto spy. I'll tell you that right now. Who are we catching in that landing escape? Who went what way? What's who? Ooh, commotion, yay. It's that cleric. She's running like hell. Oh, she's the traitor. She's a grotto cleric? Interesting. Take her. Yeah, you're silly. Oh, she impugned the emperor. That's not good. Dude, she's a cleric. She can't offer resistance. Oh, snap. If the town wasn't heavily guarded before, it is now. And you, in your madness, this is Grotto. Are you alright? No. I'm a traitor to Grotto. Do you think I'm alright? <coughs> Oh, snap. Oh, no, not Grotto soldiers. Oh, joy, fighting. But it seems we get the cleric on our side, which is actually pretty good. Goddamn you healers, starting with two magic stat. And it, 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 there's almost nothing that makes me matter <laughs> than healers starting off with two magic stat. Alright, anyway. Um, I can actually not use Motor for this battle because yeah, I have another healer. I'll just trade his staff so she doesn't waste an entire men's staff. Because men actually does uh, 20 plus your uh, magic stat. Alright, well, let's rock. Oh, and there's that man. He's fighting for us. And he lost at the arena. Ha ha ha. Fool. Oh no, he's a mercenary. <laughs> That's actually true. You do get experience in the arena. But it can be dangerous. And I don't like arena abuse because I'm a coward, I guess. Um, of course you won't forget. You're a smart man. Now see that. That is an important line. Yep, bad luck and more bad luck. I don't want to listen to your words. Intense. But anyway, this guy, Joshua, he's from Jaha, uh, and he's got pretty nice stats, he's level 5 of course, and a killing edge. This is our first experience with uh, weapons that improve critical hit rate by such a wide margin. But yes, Joshua says he doesn't like fighting women. That's important because he will never attack Natasha. Never. Well, I'll have Vanessa visit, visit this village over here and find who is apparently a dancer. Well, of course, you just finished a few moments ago, yada yada. Um, I don't know, what's one of these items? Hmm, interesting. Um, okay, what did I win? What did I win? Give me the frickin' item! Ooh, dragon shield that raises defense by two. Now, sadly, you will probably see me hoarding these uh, stat boost items because I don't like using them. <laughs> because I'm never sure who to give it to. Um, but yeah, my strategy for this fight is going to be interesting because I've never done this fight without Seth. 
I will be doing it without Seth this time, simply because... You know, it's a new challenge for me. And you guys can watch it. But I'm, uh, over time. So, uh, I'll... Catch you guys later on, uh, Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Have a great day.